Hey everybody, I'm Lucid Faith. Today we're going to be talking about Final Fantasy XIV and specifically Materia, how to get it and how to craft with it. Let's jump in. Now the first quest you're going to need to complete is a quest called Forging the Spirit. This is going to be in Thanian, it's going to be in Central Thanian, and it's going to be here in the Bonfire area, which is northwest of Black Brush Station. Link to this will be in the description below. Once you're here, you need to talk to this NPC here. This is Swine Burrows. Now, it's just a simple click through quest. Only requirement is you have to be level 19 in any class or job. And he's going to give you the ability of Materia Extraction. So this is how you can actually get Materia so that you can use for your crafting. Next up, we're going to complete a quest named Waking the Spirit. This is in the same area, the bonfire. You're going to talk to this NPC here. Again, requirement for this to be level 19 in any class or job. And it's a simple click through quest. Once you have completed the quest with her, you will get the materia melding action. Now there's actually one more quest you can get in this area and that is melding materia monthly from this NPC here. The only requirement is you have to have a class or job at level 25 and he will give you the advanced materia melding action. Once you've completed these quests we can go ahead and grab the actions and add them to your hotbar so you can use. The easiest way to do that is press P on your keyboard and the actions and trait menu will pop up. Otherwise, you can always go to character and then action trait is a second from the top. Once you're in here, you'll go under the general tab on the left and you'll see materia melding and materia extraction. These are the two you're going to want to use. So just click and drag and place those wherever you want them on your hotbars. Now, how do you get materia? So to get materia, you're going to come over here to your materia extraction action. Click on that, but it'll open up the materia creation box. Now, right now for this demonstration, we're going to go down to equipped. These are all my equipped items, and it gives us a list of everything we have on. Now, the important bit is right here, spirit bond. Now, in this column, you'll see items that have 100% and items that have less than 100%. Once the an item is at 100%, you can extract materia from it. Once you do that, it'll reduce the spirit bond to 1%, so you can just raise it back up and do it again. So once you have the item that you want to extract from, go ahead and click on it. It gives you the text box confirming you want to do this. Go ahead and hit yes. Your character will take a moment in the bottom right corner. You'll see that we got a Savage Might Materia 1. Now, I went through and just extracted all of the items that I could when I first got the skill, and I got a whole bunch of different types of materials, and it looks like the type of material you get is based off the type of item, and also the better the item level, the better the material you could get. So, that's how you get materia. Now that you have the skills and the material, let's go ahead and put a material into an item. Now, not all items can have materials. There's actually slots. So, say let's take a look at some of these items. We'll take a look at this Elm Crook. You'll see about halfway down under material, there are two open circles or empty circles. Those are your material slots, kind of like gems in other games. So you can suck at those there. Now, to actually start the material melding process, we're gonna come on down, we're gonna click on a material melding action. This will open up a window. Uh, on the top left, you'll see gear, and this is where it's looking. It defaults to inventory. We're going to change it to armory chest, main hand slash offhand. And here we can do see our elm crook here with the two open slots, the one we were looking at on the right. We're going to click that guy, and it opens up all of the different materials that we have currently in our inventory. Now, considering that this is an Elm Crook for Conjurers slash White Mages, I want to add a material that is beneficial to that. So, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add a Piety material. You're going to click on whatever you want, you want to add to it. Opens up another text box telling you what you're doing and also the success rate. At higher levels, it won't be 100%. We're going to go and hit Meld, and after a moment, your character will add it or try to add it to the item. And now we can see here in our menu that the Elm Crook does have the Piety material added to it, so it's plus one to Piety. And if we close this out, 
go back over to your item, we do see that it was added. Next up, say you want to remove a materia from an item. Now there's not an associated action skill with that. Instead, you're going to come to the item that you want to remove something from. You're going to right click it, go down to retrieve materia. This will pop up this text box here. Um, it'll show you which one it'll be removing. It does remove the materia in the item's bottom slot. So keep that in mind. It gives you a success rate. You can hit begin. Here it is. This is our Ellen's Crook. The materia is gone. If we look over our inventory, we now have two materias for the Piety here. And that is my new player guide to materia. If you found this helpful, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And again, I'm Lucid Faith. If you want to talk more about Final Fantasy XIV or anything else, I do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash lucid faith every tuesday wednesday and thursday starting at six o'clock central so until next time last but not least i'll remind you all that you matter bye for now